about All Saints Sunday, I kept thinking about the election process and just how bizarre it is. Every time I turn on the radio or I look at the TV, someone says, and in this race, anything is possible. We have never seen anything like this before. Is that correct? It seems as though each day we turn on the radio or the news and we hear that some weird twist has happened somewhere or other. There are accusations. There are harsh words. There are inappropriate words. There is a lot of questioning about honesty, about ethics. This is a very divisive, tension-filled race and time that we are living in right now. As I was driving to work, I listened to the Joy FM and I heard the words that Max Ocado said. His words were to the faithful. Remember that on Wednesday, after you have passed your ballot, after we know who has won all the different races, remember that God will still be with you and that you are still God's. Remember God will still be with you and you are God. Wow, what powerful words. What words I know I needed to hear that through all the madness, all the craziness, God is still with us. As we come and we lit the candles today and we remember those who are now in God's eternal keeping, I kept listening in my mind. You know how you get a song and it gets stuck and it just sings and sings and sings and sings? Is that really annoying? Yes. Well, there's a song that has been speaking to me all week, which had a purpose, but I've been singing it all week. May those who come behind us find us faithful. We sit here at All Saints Day, and we remember those who have gone before us, who have shared their faith with us, who have shown us what it means to be followers of God in a crazy, wild world. Those who are faithful so that we can be here and we can pass on the faith and we can live the faith and we can be in our pews today and we can open ourselves to the presence of God even through the madness of our world. How many of you watch the Summer Olympics? I remember seeing this heartbreaking story of our relay team. You know, the ones where they run and they have the baton and they have to hold it up and the next person has to grab it. Well, if I get the story correct, it goes like this, that our team, last time when they were in the Olympics, something happened when it went time to pass it on and they spent the next years trying to overcome that. And this year, when they competed, unfortunately, something also went wrong. And they did not get a medal. They were disqualified. I think about that. I think about God saying to us, tag, you're it. Now it's your time. I have the baton, and I'm passing it to you. Are you going to stumble? Are you going to take it and carry it forth and share the faith with others? I'm not saying that those people in the Olympics did it on purpose. I can't imagine how many countless hours they must have spent passing on the baton. But you know what? If you don't have your hand out, you can't grab it. You can't even have an opportunity to pass the faith on if you're not willing to grab it. Yes, some of us may stumble and fall, and we may drop it sometimes. But you want to know the wonderful thing about God? Not like the Olympics. If we drop it, God lets us go back and pick it up. We get a do-over. That's wonderful. But we have to be willing first to open our hands and to take 
take that responsibility to carry it forward. I wonder what people will say 40 years, 50 years about us. Will they say that we were the generation that was open to new ideas, that we welcomed new people in, that we lived the faith of Jesus, that we tried our very best to carry the faith forward even though the culture was pushing people the other way? Will they say that we were open-minded? Or will they say that we were complainers? Will they say that we were closed-minded and when someone came in that looked differently than us or spoke differently than us or were louder than us, we pushed them away? Will they say that we were people who were willing to try new things and that we were willing to say, come, Holy One, come and guide us? I don't know, but I know what God wants us to do. God wants us to try. God wants us to say, yes, I accept, tag, I'm it, and to carry our faith forward and to do the very best that we can today to welcome all God's children in, to resist the temptation to complain or to pass rumors, but instead to live in the light of Jesus and to be the light in a crazy, wild world. When you come in those doors, when you come into the sanctuary of God, when you come in, all people should know that they are welcome here, that they are loved here, that this is the one place in this crazy, mixed up, wild world where they can find peace, where they can find love, where they can find acceptance, where they know that God is alive, even through the craziness of a wild political season. God is still here. Will those who come behind us find us faithful? I pray they will. I know that we have made mistakes. I can speak for myself. I know there have been times when I have dropped the baton. I know there have been times when I have not lived the way that Jesus would have me live. I know there have been times that I have given in to temptation. But I also know that God wants me to try. And when I come to this table and I take communion and I ask for forgiveness, it is given to me. And so today, I ask all of you to find it in your heart, to come to this table, to ask for forgiveness, and to accept the baton, to carry the faith outward into this world, so that those who come behind us will find us faithful. For we are the saints of God, living here and now in Newport Ritchie. May we carry that baton with pride and with the love of Jesus guiding us each and every step.